What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time using an enamorous Trick Room team that also features Ursaluna and Orthworm. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by Kanto Clark. Kanto Clark also makes some nice VGC content on YouTube, so I will be linking his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. And if you guys want the Poke Pace for this uh, team, it's going to be on his channel. So again, go check out Kanto Clark. Link is down in the description below. But this team is going to get started here in the top left-hand corner with Ursaluna. Ursaluna is a solid Trick Room Pokemon, and it hits like an absolute truck once its Flame Orb gets triggered. It has Guts as its ability, and then its four moves consist of Facade, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect. In our second slot, we got Arm Rouge, and Arm Rouge is top tier, especially when it's paired up with Indeedee. This one has Flash Fire with a Life Orb as item, Expanding Force, Heat Wave, Wide Guard to protect their team from double hitting moves, and then we got Trick Room to pop the Trick Room. In our third slot, we got the one and only Earthworm, and Earthworm is solid, especially when it can get his defense set up with Iron Defense, but it's also going to be solid paired up next to Ursaluna. It has the ability Earth Eater, so every time it gets hit by a ground move, it gets HP back, so going into Ursaluna and Earthworm in the Trick Room, I can freely go into EQs, healing up my Earthworm at the same time. Orthrum also has a Citrus Berry as item, then Rock and Body Press to pair up with that Iron Defense move, and then Heavy Slam and Shed Tail. In our fourth slot, we got Indeedee, a solid support Pokemon, especially on a Trick Room team. It has Psychic Surge alongside with the Rocky Helmet, rocking out with Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. Our lonesome Pokemon that is not so good in the Trick Room is going to be Choice Scarf Urshifu. He has Unseen Fist's ability with U-Turn, Rock Slide, Close Combat, and Surge and Strikes. In our final slot, we got the one and only Enamorous. I absolutely love this Pokemon, especially the way it looks in this form. It's got Overcoat and the Assault Vest, then Rock and Dazzle Gleam, Mystical Fire, Moon Blast, and Earth Power. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on our ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Enamorous, Earthworm, and Ursulina Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys, I'm going up against a half Trick Room, half non Trick Room -ish team. They got Arcanine, Shen Pao, and Dragonite. For their offensive non trick room half and their other half is torkoal gastrodon and orang all pokemon that thrive in trick room how should we play this one how should we get after it i definitely want to set up trick room but shen pao arcanine and dragonite i definitely have to worry about i mean i do have indeedy which is going to be wonderful for the train but i just want to see this pokemon stats right here 205 special attack which i absolutely love with the speed very very low for trick room definitely want to go into indeedy because they have no terrain control and psychic terrain is going to be awesome it's going to be awesome, especially up against the first time priority Pokemon. So I'm going to go Indeedy. I'm also going to go Armourge. I feel like that's a very, very solid lead for us. And then in the back end, I think I might just go Ursaluna alongside Enamorous. I like Enamorous here. I do, but also Orthworm is not bad. I know it's a Steel type. I do know it's a Steel type. But I really like it, especially if I pair it up with Ursaluna. And I definitely want to bring in Ursaluna. So let's go Ursaluna. Let's go Orthworm. Let's have some fun with this one. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But hopefully they lead like some sort of first time priority Pokemon. I can really get after it that way because the second surge is going to be top tier. And that's another mistake. A lot of people run the Shen Pao, Dragonite, and Urshifu combo without a terrain center. That's why Rillaboom is so good to be on that team. You can always cancel out Psychic Surge and then get your first turn priority Pokemon back in a position to actually do some work. But they're going to end up leading Shen Pao and Arcanine. They are going to intimidate us. That's totally fine. We are all special attacking. We love it. Unless this Arcanine is not intimidate, but chances are it is, right? It might not be. I don't think it is. It is not intimidate, and I kind of forget its other ability, in all honesty. But from here, um, I am scared of the Rock Slide. I am going to go into Follow Me. You can actually destroy terrain, too. I forgot about that. And I'm just going to go with the Trick Room. Yeah, I'm just gonna go follow me. I think I'm gonna Thrasilize. I don't feel like dealing with the, uh... I really don't feel like dealing with the, what's it called? The Rock Slide that could potentially come out here. So I'm just gonna Thrasilize in the grass. I know I'll be weak to Ice Spinner, and chances are Shen Pao is going for Ice Spinner. Maybe I should just Protect it in DD. If I even have Protect. I don't even think I have Protect. So Ice Spinner's probably going into that slot, right? Makes the most sense. So let's see what they want to do. Yeah, there's the Ice Spinner. The Ice Spinner's going to take out Terrain. If I have a chance to actually hard swap Indeed here, I would love to do that. 
Rocky Helmet will take off Focus Sash, which we love. The terrain is gone. And the Flare Bus is coming in here. So that's going to KO me, right? Yeah. So that's going to KO me. Um, they got first turn priority back in action. But still, I really, I really like the position that we're sitting in. I love it. I love it. So from here, we definitely want to go into probably Ursula Light. Like, or I could, I could go into Earthworm. I could definitely go into Earthworm. Not too scared of the first turn priority. Earthworm wouldn't be bad. I could set up an Iron Defense here, which would be pretty solid. Hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start bulking this Pokemon up. I'm going to go for a nice, lovely Iron Defense, start bulking this guy up. And from here, we will go into... Probably try to get rid of Shen Pao, right? More so than anything. So I'll do this, and then I'll go into... I'll just go into a Heat Wave, because Heat Wave will take out Shen Pao. It won't take out the Arcanine, and then Arcanine will probably Flare Blitz into me. But it's all good. As long as I can set up this plus two defense boost on Earthworm, I feel as Ursaluna and Earthworm. You can really get in the back end and get going. But that thing looks so derpy. It looks so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> little worm. Little steel worm. He ends up going for an E-Speed. I think he's double down into me. You're going for a Sucker Punch in this slot, too? How dare you? Now you're going to go You have Ice Shard. Of course you have Ice Shard. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. It's just what I wanted. Nice little doubling down. So now I get off this iron defense. Um, I could heavy slam straight into the uh, Shen Pao. But I think I would rather. Actually, what would I rather do? I'm kind of scared of a. I'm going to try to get rid of Shen Pao first and foremost. I am going to try to get rid of Shen Pao. So I'm just going to go into a body press look to just dump on that. And I'm just going to protect you. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We have two. Show me we have two. We have three. Oh, even better. Even better. <laughs> so yeah, Body Press is going to be my play right into the Shen Pao. Try to get rid of that. Hopefully he doesn't Terrasalize into Ground. And we'll just protect. We're not Ground. Into Ghost. And we'll just protect our Ursaluna. So Protect comes out from the Barret. We're trying to trigger Guts here. And we'll see what they want to do here. E Speed's going to come into that thing. You probably double down to Ursaluna, which we, we don't mind. We simply do not mind that. We don't mind that at all. Big time protect. We get our Guts Trigger, plus Earthworm is now going to sit here and finish off Shen Pao. We love it. Plus two defense. Bang. See you later. Cool. So we dump on that. Now it's a good time to just drop an EQ from Ursaluna. Start ripping. Right? Best bet. Best case scenario. I am scared of Dragonite coming out here. Dragonite could be a problem. Probably is a problem. We'll see how we play this one, because, yeah, Dragonite's a problem, and I know it's coming out here. I know it's going to come out here, I know it's going to Thrasalize, I know it's going to start E-Speeding my Ursaluna. No, it's going to be Gashon. We like that. We like Gashon. We like Gashon here. So from here, Body Press still going to be my play, and on top of that, we're just going to EQ across the board. We like that. We like that. Like I said, Ursaluna and Orthworm could definitely clean up a lot of the mess. So just, even though our Indeedian armors went out early here, I feel like it worked out pretty well for us so far. So it ends up protecting. Earth Power is going to come out here. It's going to hit up on Ursaluna and actually do a lot because it's a crit. You lucky biscuit. You lucky biscuit getting crits. So we'll have one more turn in Trick Room after this, which is awesome. And chances are we could take out Gastro here. Big time damage and then Body Press gets rid of Gastro. We love it. We love it. So one more turn left in Trick Room. First turn priority is a, a slight issue. And I'll figure out what I want to do from here. So I could bulk up Earthworm even more, depending on what Pokemon they bring out. And I'm thinking it's going to be Dragonite, right? Is it Dragonite? Yeah, Dragonite comes out here. A little scary Pokemon. Very scary Pokemon. And I think from here, we just body press into this thing, considering it might Terrasalize into normal. And then we'll just go for an EQ just to get rid of the, uh, the Arcanine. And plus, we get some HP back into Earthworm. I could see a normal Terra here, just for him to E speed in the way. So that'd be fine by me. So he ends up Terrasalizing. It's gonna be Arcanine. Arcanine gets a Grass Terra? The Ghost Terra. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind the Ghost Terra. We're not body pressing into that. There's still EQ, and EQ can still do a huge chunk of damage. And we'll see what they wanna do. E speed's gonna double down, right? Ooh, you soaked that one up pretty well. Can you soak up this one? I love you, Bear. I love you, Bear. I love you, Ursaluna. Big time eat ups. Gets off one more EQ, which is lovely for us. And can we get rid of Arcanine here? That'd be big. We do get rid of Arcanine. Okay, so now it's a 1v1. 
Now it's a 1v1, and I'm plus 2 on defense. I'm plus 2 on defense, which is huge. It is lovely. Body press going to fly through here. It's doing about 5.5 damage. Ursuline is going to go down to that. And do I do I bulk up on defense? Because Heavy Slam's not going to do any crazy damage. I think could have been multi-scaled. Um, Heavy Slam's not bad. Um, it is stab. I could go for another iron defense. I'm gonna see how much damage heavy slam's gonna do. Cause we'll see what he wants to rock out with. He's brick break. Of course you got brick break. We're able to soak pretty well. We still have citrus berry, which is big time. We're gonna see how much damage this is gonna do. Oh, that's that's no bueno. That's no bueno. We're gonna bulk up on defense here. I'm gonna pop a nice little defense boost. That's gonna trigger my citrus berry. Actually, not yet. It does not trigger my citrus berry. So I'm gonna go into this. I think I might raise it again. And just hope not for a crit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go plus six here. I'm gonna go brick break again. That's gonna trigger my berry. We love it. And then we're gonna go plus six. And now we should, as long as Dragonite doesn't get a crit, should be able to two tap this thing, right? Plus six, Earthworm coming out here in the back end. Come on, man. Come on, man. Earthworm back up to half HP. Let's switch in the body press. I know it's not very effective, but should be able to do more damage. Here comes a brick break. Bro, bro, stop. Stop with this. Stop with this. This is nonsense. This is nonsense. That should have been a W in my hand. Play that one so well with Earthworm and Ursulina and end up losing to an RNG crit. This game right here is unbelievable. Unbelievable is, is the only word to use about it. I really lost to a brick break crit. Come on, man. I even said, I said the only way we lose here is a crit. I go plus six on defense. He's not going to be able to KO me with brick breaks. And then he just sends one and he drops my HP fully down. I'm like, are you serious? Come on, man. We're 0-1 now. My past two videos, I went 1-2. I, I want to grab ourselves a winning record. So I got to go back to back here in match number two and match number three. But we're going up against a very tough squad. Very tough squad. They got the Dragonite. They got the Urshifu. They're also rocking out with Crest, Ursaluna, and Iron Hands, who I can definitely see them bringing, considering our team is more on the heavy Trick Room side. They also have Fluttermane, which is going to be a great Pokemon, but who should I go into? I really want to bring in Enamorous here. I like Enamorous, especially up against uh, a few of these Pokemon. They're going to be super effective onto the, uh, onto the Iron Hands, the Dragonite, and the Urshfu. So Enamorous, I definitely want to bring in here. Um, I'll probably lead in DD Armourouge. It just seems like the best lead. And then bring Enamorous and last but not least, probably Ursaluna by itself. It's going to be pretty solid. Or I can bring Urshifu. I like Urshifu. Especially late game. Late game, once Trick Room ends, I feel like Urshifu could be pretty solid for us. So I'm going to go into them. I am going to go into Urshifu. I wish this one did have Aqua Jet. Because it could come in clutch that you bring him in with like one turn left in Trick Room. And you, and you need a first turn priority move to take out somebody. It really does come in clutch. But they're going to go Urshifu and Fluttermane on their own. And from here, from here, we could just terrestrialize, right? Could definitely terrestrialize. Terrestrialize, potentially follow me. I mean, I don't think we need to terrestrialize. I really don't. I think we just follow me and we pop a trick room. Probably your best bet. Follow me. Trick room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that one really hurts. That last match really hurts. I was sitting there, I was like, okay, we got this. Earthworm gonna clutch up. It's gonna be a nice little match for us. And then crits just coming out left and right. The so Moonblast flies. We're able to soak. You starting striking? Nope. You're going for the Wicked Blow. I, I, I keep thinking. I keep getting them mixed up. It's not that I get them mixed up. If I looked at this one and actually, like, looked at it for a second, I'd be like, okay, that's the Dark Earth fruit. But I'm so used to the, uh... I'm so used to the Water Earth fruit being out and about, you know? I'm so used to that. But from here, we are going to go into Enamorous. Enamorous is going to come out here. And I just feel as Expanding Force and Dazzling Gleam is probably a play, right? We got the Fire Tire, but Dazzling Gleam, Expanding Force, 1000%, right? I just feel might Terrastalize. It just might Terrastalize. You know what? Do I have Protect on this Armors? Do I have protect on you? I do not. Um, I think I'll just terrestrialize you. And just make sure I get rid of the flutter I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna terrestrialize the armor. This is just like this is like a little safety thing. 
Because I don't want their Urshifu to Terrasilize into, like, say, Fire type and then be able to take me out with a Wicked Blow. I'm just not dealing with that. So I'd rather just Terrasilize and keep my armor, especially because we have Trick Room popping right now. So he just ends up detecting. That, that's fine with me. So we'll get rid of Fluttermane this turn. That's a big time. He might. He's probably going to Terrasilize next turn. But if he doesn't Terrasilize into Dark type, he is going to have to take big time damage to Expand of Force. So we love it. So Expand of Force is going to fly here. It should say bye bye to Fluttermane. No problem. Get this thing on out of here. We'll go from there. The Fluttermane, get off. <gasps> you did not just survive on one HP. You did not. You did not. Luckily, we did Terra to Grass. But still. You did not just do that. You simply did not just do that. It could be, mm, it could be that terror type. It could be dark, but still, then Dazzling Gleam does a lot of damage. I'm just gonna go Heat Wave here. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go Heat Wave, just in case he wants to turn into some whack type. That is that is absurd. So Dazzling Gleam is going to pick up the double KO. We love that, and that is just absurd that that Flutter mean. It's able to get off a Shadow Ball into me. We do not like that. So we still have our Urshifu in the back end. And everything's kind of lining up for that thing to come in the back end and clean things up. But we'll see who they go into. Because we do still have the Psychic Train, which is just gorgeous up against first turn priority Pokemon. They're going to go into Iron Hands. So Iron Hands can't fake me out. I really like that. Um, and he's going to go into Ursuline. Ooh. Oh! We do not like that at all. So from here... Um, what do I go into? I do have a Soul Vest, but they're both physical attacking. I think they're saving Terra for Iron Hands. I think Iron Hands is going to get the Terra here. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to go Expanded Force. Oh, you shouldn't go for Facade. Can you eat that? You, okay. You, I get a free Focus Ash, you get a free Focus Ash. We love it. I really did think that thing was going to Terrasilize, but I guess not. Cool. So that's going to bring me down to 17 HP. I am going to be able to get off a big time expanded force, and I'm going to die at the life orb here. That should KO the Iron Hands, right? It does. Okay, we love where we're sitting. Actually, do I like where we're sitting? Because how many turns are left in Trick Room? This is why. This is where I wish I had Aqua Jet. I was just saying I wish I had Aqua Jet. I need Aqua Jet. I mean, I still think we're sitting pretty good here, because if he goes for an EQ, Enamorous can dodge it. So he has no double hitting moves that can actually KO both of us. But I do like that. So Urshfu comes out here, and this is where I wish I had it. I really do wish I had, uh... <laughs> I wish I had, uh... What's it called? I really wish I had Aqua Jet. But I'm just gonna go Surgeon Strikes. I am gonna go Moon Blast. None of these Pokemon have Protect. We should be chilling. Man. We should be chilling because a big time eat up from Arm Rouge and they end up canceling battle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, our first win for today's video. Let's hop to our third and grab you guys that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Hisuian Sneasel team, right? Hisuian Sneasel? Yeah, look at that thing up in the top. Really cool Pokemon. I don't really know what it does. It's probably quick, probably rocking Evo Light, probably has Fake Out, and it probably might be able to trigger like a weakness policy on some sort of Pokemon. But we're 1-1, one one, should be 2-0. Oh. Still upset at match number 1. And who should I lead up against this team? They have Iron, uh, not Iron Thorns, Iron Moth. Then they also have the Brute Bonnet, Urshifu, Thunders, and Spectre. They're definitely going to lead a Fake Out user, right? Indeed, the armor is, is just such a solid lead for setting up Trick Room. So I'm going to go into that. And you know what? I'm going to give the Worm and the Bear another chance here. That's exactly what we're doing. We're giving the Bear and the Worm another chance. Even though we played them so well. In match number one. Match number one, we lost Indeedee and Arm Rouge very, very quickly. And I was kind of upset. But then I was thinking, I was just like, yo, the bear and the worm with three turns left in Trick Room can't get some work done. And that's exactly what they were doing. Until I got RNG screwed by a nice little crit on Brick Brick. Oh, dude. So rough. So rough. But sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd be like that. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I think Sneasel is going to come out here for a nice little lead. And I think it does learn Fake Out, so that's why I kind of want to go into NDD Armors. It's just such a great lead, especially in Regulation D. Having that Psychic Surge, especially when teams do not have any Surge Control, it's just it's just huge. So no Fake Outs can come out, no Sucker Punches, no Aqua Jets, no E-Speeds. Everything is just beautiful. But yeah, look at the profile picture. Just a bunch of Marils <laughs> in a line. In a line. We love it. They're going to end up sending out the Sneasel. And the Brute Bonnet. The brute, brute on it, man. Okay, uh, 
And this is dark type. I know it usually rocks soccer punch, but that's usually it on its dark type moves. Sneasel's over here. And what typing are you? You just like poison fighting? Yeah. Poison fighting. Um, hmm. I think a nice follow me trick him, right? Probably the play. I mean, Brute Bonnet can put me to sleep. Ooh. I mean, but if we go follow me, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're cool. So follow me, trick him is gonna be fine. He'll follow me, we'll trick him up, and we'll kinda just get after that way. So the follow me's out and about. Sneezer's gonna go for a taunt. Not Sneezer, Sneasel. We'll go for a taunt, that's cool with me. And Brute Bonnet's gonna go for a support. So that's exactly why follow me worked out really well here. So now I get off this beautiful trick room. And I'm curious just to see what move I should go into here. I could go into Expanded Force, but then Brute Bonnet dodges it. It's a little bit of a problem. i to try to get off the Dazzle Beam, but I think Heat Wave is more so. A better play for us. And probably the Grass Tower, right? Just so we can't go to sleep. Definitely your best bet. I'm, I'm not going to sleep. Plus, I don't want to be weak to any dark moves. The Grass Tower is going to be beautiful. I love how they added that. I forget what gen they added that, but when your Pokemon goes to sleep, its eyes actually close. I thought that was a, I thought that was a nice little touch that they did. But there's still some like Pokemon that don't shut their eyes when they sleep. Kind of weird. I thought I saw one a couple days ago. He's gonna end up going for a C bomb. That's fine. Rainbow Soak. Heat Wave should fire. Heat Wave doing some damage. Some damage out here. We love it. He's still gonna be asleep and sneezing. What are you doing? Low sweeping me. Oh, wow, they're just doubling down into my MDD. That's fine. Rocky Helmet might take that out. Does. Bank time KO from the sleeping MDD. Good old Rocky Helmet. The Rocky Helmet's so good. I love the Rocky Helmet. I absolutely love the Rocky Helmet as an item. So they're going to go into the third Pokemon, which is going to be Iron Moth, and I'm not worried about that a little bit. I'm really not that too worried about that. Now it has Fire Moves, I know it can KO my Arm Rouge. But I like her back end. I like her back end. So from here, I'm just going to go Dazzling Gleam. I'm just going to go Expanded Force. I know it has no effect onto, uh, onto the Brute Bonnet, but if I could just get rid of Iron Moth, Brute Bonnet's really not that big of a threat at all. I could body press it later. So Ndidi's only been asleep for one turn. It has a chance of waking up, but I'm not, I don't really see it waking up. It'd be cool if it wakes up, but I'm not playing off of that thing waking up. That's why I kind of just want to get rid of the Iron Moth. That thing poses a way bigger threat than the Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet's nothing crazy. Whereas Iron Moth can be super effective onto the, uh, oh, you're going to protect that, but Iron Moth can be super effective onto my Armors right now with the Terror type and onto my Orthorn later on. So he ends up just double protecting, reading out what we want to do here. And that's actually fine because that gives an extra turn for my Indeedee to wake up. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So from here, I think we have two turns left in Trick Room. I could be wrong. Yeah, two turns left in Trick Room. My taunt's in the server, but still, I'm just going to dash and gleam. And let's go for an expanded force. But I doubt they're going to trash slice the brute on it. There's just no shot. And I think indeed he does wake up here. So out comes the Terra, probably from the Iron Moth, right? The Moth is going to get the Terra. And what type of you got cooking? A little bit of grass type. So you're still going to take a crazy big chunk of damage here from expanded force. I wish we would have went the Heat Wave. That would have been awesome. So indeed he does wake up. That is beautiful. That is lovely. We're going to say bye bye to brute on it. Oh, we don't say bye bye to the brute on it. Oh! Do not say bye bye to Brute Bonnet. Expanded Force is going to fly here. So, again, this is still doing big time damage onto the Iron Moth. Yeah, it's just KOing it. Terror type was doing nothing, so that's going to be pretty much game. Indeed, the armor is going to come in here, grab us the winning record. They're such a strong combo. Very, very strong combo. Indeed, he's going to shake off the taunt. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's game. It's game. I, I have two very strong back in Pokemon. This Pokemon actually scares me. Just a little bit. And you don't have Terra, so I mean, I could just go follow me here and expand in force just to make sure Earth Spirit goes out. And a Protect would be actually big time. A Double Protect probably gonna come out here. Yeah. A Double Protect. I should have Double Trick him. I should have Double Trick him. But from here, it's pretty simple now. We just follow me again. 
Because Urshfu is gonna go first, and then we just pop another Shuriken because Brute Bonnet cannot KO my armors. So yeah, you, they just wanna they just wanna prolong their loss. So we are winning this. I got you guys with a winning record. The streak is over. Should have had a perfect record today. We should have had a perfect record today. It seems so strong now. I feel like I feel like anything with Indeed Armors is super strong. Especially any Shuriken team. It really is just top tier. I'm gonna set up another trick room because I do not want that arm that Urshfu really coming back and, and beat me. Because to be honest, to be honest, if if Urshfu if say say Urshfu's versus my back end, he can KO my Ursaluna in one certain strikes, and he can KO my Earth Woman probably one close combat. So it really is just a problem. It really is a problem. So we actually have to have to lock this one down. He ends up going for close combat. That's totally fine. And again, Brute Bonnet cannot KO me with a shot. You cannot spore me because I'm Grass Terra. Nurse Fruit is going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. You know, the Rocky Helmet, baby. The Rocky Helmet. So good. T-Bomb's going to fire, and that's in the game. But the Rocky Helmet with, like, Amoongus is so good, especially, like, if you can read somebody going to certain strikes. You swap it, and it does, like, half damage to any Nurse Fruit certain strikes. But, it, but I end up doing that. I am going to go into my boy right here. My Orthworm. Get a little re revenge with them. And I love it shiny. It looks like cotton candy colors, you know? Then I'll just body press over onto you. And drop a nice big time expanding force into Urshfu. But I think our opponent cancels the battle. Yep, there it is. Two and one. We're back on the winning record train. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Back on the winning record. We love it. We love it. Two and one for today's video. Should have went three and oh. Still upset at that first match because Earthworm was thriving. And I really don't use Earthworm that much, so it would have been cool to actually pick up a big time W with a plus six Iron Defense Earthworm. We were on track to do it. Brick Break crit us, hurts the soul, but again, we bounced back in match number two and match number three and rocked out with this team for that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.